Okay, hello, welcome to episode 2 of Vault Hunters Plus. So, um, we're gonna finish off this vault crystal. It's gonna be dope. The vault crystal number 2, number, numero dos. We're gonna get that place down. Uh, in between episodes, I did a couple stuff. We have a bunch of extra shulker shells now. Uh, soul shards are now all going to go into our soul pouch. Shard pouch. Perfect, just like that. Now we don't need to worry about that. This guy's just going to placed in our inventory back here. And we got a bunch of shulker boxes. I was going to get dye for that, didn't have time for it. It's all good. Now, there's just not much else to do but to run the vault. So, let's go in, see how it goes. Come on, come on. One. Okay, another elixir vault. We'll mark our entrance just in case. We gotta make sure that we spend as much time as we possibly can in here. Uh, another thing is that, I don't know if you guys saw, but last episode, at the end, I did some enchanting and I put absolutely unbreakable on my pickaxe. Previously, that was a uh, enchantment that could go on everything. It has been changed so that now it can only go onto either uh, on onto only vanilla stuff because the the it, everyone intended on the vault gear and stuff being a limited factor for each individual one and i am not going to compromise that in this version of vault plus just because it's more fun when it's a little bit more difficult so there we go we got plenty of ability power now as well so our fireball actually does damage it's pretty dope i'm super happy about that Still is a bit of a long cooldown, but we're going to work on that soon so that cooldown can be decreased because, honestly, I feel like if, if it costs a bunch of mana anyways, why does the cooldown have to be so long? Because I can only use it a couple times. And at this point, I can only use it once before my mana fully regens during the cooldown, and that's kind of boring. So I'm gonna be changing a bunch of cooldowns for magic spells in here because they just don't fully make sense to me. Like if, I, I would understand if the mana cost was super low, having a super low cooldown, but if the mana cost is like 20 to 25, I just don't understand why the cooldown needs to be, you know, 20 seconds. Is it... I regen more mana than I use in that time, and then I can't use any spells. I would understand for, like, a bigger spell, but... They, they don't have a ton of those, so... Just having to work with Ev. What we have is pretty cool. So I'm gonna just work with that. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Perfect. Got another people. And that's what happens when you have a mage learning magecraft in Vault Hunters. And we're just going to go absolutely wild with it. Uh we're going to go full mage build. So that hopefully by the end of it, uh, with the changes I will make to cooldowns, we can actually viably be mage only. And I'm going to see if there's a way that I can main hand offhand wands to just dual wield wands to do uh, to do the effects of both wands because that'd be so oh, we got to head up room because our first room has been completely looted. It's perfect. Uh, these episodes are going to be a bit longer and mostly uncut. I don't know if there will be much that will be taken out. Just because it's more fun when you guys can see the whole process. At least for me. And honestly, I just enjoy doing it for longer periods of time in a row. 
without being interrupted or having to switch things up. So I hope you guys enjoy that format. If you don't, you can always leave it in the comments and I will uh, probably make an edited down version for those who have no attention span because they decided to be on TikTok all day and have no self-control. And that's okay. If you're, if that's you, I'm not upset at you. I'm just disappointed. And I'm not even disappointed. So I have a terrible attention span too. I just have the willpower to watch TikToks all day because I, I have better things to do in my life. Also, we got our first couple of vault ores over here. Probably should have enchanted our pickaxe with fortune, but we didn't. So that's okay. Here. Let's see what what kind of stuff to me. Laramar, or Laramar, Laramar, one Benny. Doesn't look like we got anything. Benny, got one Benny. Perfect. This doesn't even go up into the ceiling, so we just need to move this stuff. Thank you. This one, okay, that's all that we're gonna get from. Perfect. We're gonna get poisoned. This guy's an ability too. Oh, we didn't get the ability because directly. Oh, we got one one of each. Not too, not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm pretty happy about that. Getting one of each out of that when fortune is actually honestly pretty lucky. We haven't gone down yet, have we? Oh. Shoot. That's unfortunate. Perfect. We killed you. This guy has the poison ability. I'm so happy we have regen. Regen is also super strong, so it is capped at regen 1. Instead of uh, regen 4, which was what it was at before. Because regen 4 is apparently very much too strong. And you just cannot die at that point. So, we're just going to focus. Oh gosh, this guy has immortality for 3 seconds. Mortality for 2 seconds. Why is why are mobs getting immortality? That is terrifying. So what do I use you for? Rotten meat, rotten meat block, rot. Kind of useless, I guess. Another thing that is going to be super useful is when we start running Twilight Forest. Uh, the Twilight Forest uncrafting table. Even though it does cost XP. XP is not a limiting resource anymore. Okay, well that guy has immortality too. Why does everything have immortality? Okay, well... I'm just, it's like I'm playing COD Zombies. I'm just kiting all the mobs. I see the guy that's giving them immortality because he is he's taking damage. But the this is why the champion mobs are a big pain because they do not. like to be balanced perfect we killed you so the immortality should wear off perfect thank oh my gosh that was so scary <laughs> yeah, i couldn't damage any of them and they could just follow me and harass me and mess with me and it was so scary it was so scary uh what did we end up getting from that purple Unidentified magnet. Okay, that's huge. We needed a magnet too. This early on, an epic plus magnet is such a huge pull. Well, even if it was terrifying, 
That was that was so freaky, by the way. Like I, I know it looked like I was fine, and honestly, we're incredibly lucky that we had poison. Because without poison, I don't think I would have been able to properly identify the one that was the controller of the horde. The one that was able to actually take damage. Because that was terrifying. I was super stressed, and I was not paying close enough attention to be able to see that. So thank heavens that we pulled poison so early on. Poison is so huge early on. Especially because it stacks up quite a bit and wither stacks on top of it. So if you give something poison and wither to, they will just explode. It is absolutely amazing and so a little bit overpowered, which is why it's limited to level 3 on E. Is anything more than that? A little bit too much. Now we shall go and go up here. Also, the uh, the difficulty scaling, I've changed it slightly. Not not a ton. I'll be perfectly, but it's been it's been changed, modified to a slight degree to make it a little bit more challenging and to scale a little bit faster. Uh, but no XP modifiers. No nothing super crazy. It's all just kind of normal stuff but they don't want to be building all over because it's inefficient time usages polar bear perfecto gorgeous gorgeous and now we get to you guys now we go, we kill the fighters, polar bears, well, polar bears have quite a bit of health, which is a little bit annoying, but it's all good, because we have the damage, uh, also, we are in risk of becoming underleveled with our current weapon, so hopefully we get otherwise, like, our current weapon, each mob is gonna have, like, our health or more, which at level 7 isn't too big of a deal, but if we get too much XP from this vault, we'll end up level 10. And then mobs scale even more difficult. We'll make it so that they have more health, do more damage, and overall are stronger. And that is a little bit scary, especially considering the fact that we don't even have a vault weapon. Just a little bit. Hopefully, change that this episode. Not this episode, the next episode. Hopefully, we get something good from the crate. We're already almost done with the gathering of the elixir, which is good. Ooh, this is this is perfect. Mob spawn it. Can't break vault glass. Okay, well, I guess mobs don't spawn in here like crazy anymore. They used to spawn in that room, like, insano style, like, in, like, spawn, 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 and so it was playing farming. I guess I cannot do that. It's all good. Not too big of a deal, but it does mean that I wasted about half a minute of time. Let's activate this just so we know where lodestones are, just in case, because we are at 11 minutes. Uh, I, if we get below a minute and I can't reach one, then we're in trouble. I do not want to lose anything that I've gathered, especially that epic plus vault magnet. Because we might get our first Omega of the series in episode 2, which would be absolutely amazing. So shards. Didn't get anything super omega from that. 
More poison. Okay, that guy needs to die first. Perfect. Killed him first. Still poisoned because that guy's poison. So the issue with poison in the vaults is because usually you cannot heal passively, which is why regen is kind of overpowered to get this on, and why it's capped at one, is it is not like normal poison. Poison has been changed to do a damage over time effect that is um, more akin to wither, because you can die from poison in the vaults. Uh, is really scary, especially since you normally can't heal. That's a lot of polar bears. I'm being attacked by a family of polar bears. I am being attacked by a family of polar bears. I feared for my life. I know they're endangered, but I just murdered an entire an entire quad of them because they tried to they tried to kill me first. I'm human. They they don't they they ain't human. They they dead now. But, you know, I, I, feel, I can't, I feel kind of bad. We'll have to make a move at some point. Polar bears. They, they, they were forced to fight me. They were born into a cruel world. De de designated them only to fight the vault hunter. It was terrible. It was terrible. Terrible fate that they, they did not deserve in any way. They didn't deserve it. That's the fate that they received. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we gotta eat you. One up there. I don't really have building blocks to do stuff upstairs, so... Just go up the normal way, I guess? We do have the objective finished. I don't want to use it yet, because, again... First couple vaults, you always want to go through, get everything for the max loot as well as the max XP you can get. Though it seems like the only thing that's worth our while here is over here. Perfect. Living chests, always worth our while because they give us the delicious ingredients that we need in order to create the Krabby Patties, the deliciousness, the Vault Cheese Bunger. Perfect. And now, this is an elbow joint. Yes, it is. I was correct. Always right, always right, never, never wrong, never wrong. Yup, that's what that's what tells me. Exactly that, definitely. <laughs> no, but uh, but essentially, we are going to focus on just looting everything we can. Need more omega chests or to kill a ton, of so that we can get. I I hope to get to level ten after this vault. I don't know how realistic that is. No, there's a fake entrance to it. Dungeon would be great right now. It's so much good loot. If it was a good dungeon, uh, like a living or eight dungeon. Perfect. We are getting all, all of the loot. Okay, polar bears, y'all are gonna have to stop. I already feel bad, okay? I already murdered your family. I already murdered your father and your mother. So the children should please stop attacking me. I've already bambied you. Run away. Become strong. Train. And then you may fight me. But you are merely a polar bear. You will never win. Because I am a hunter. I have guns. I get chests to make such a satisfying sound. Bro just exploded right next to me. Insane. That's the true value of poison. Dampening. That's annoying.
Get all the loot. Looty, looty, loot. Loot, 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 loot. As Pingu says, loot, loot. Sorry, that was that was a bad joke. It's all good. Big chill. Okay. Grab the coins from down here. Also, the only reason I know that the coins were down here is because there's no way that there's a, just an empty POI, especially in a seven vault. There are sometimes empty POIs, but not in a non-trapped, non like beginner's grace vault. It just doesn't make any sense that there. So I was like, well, it looks like there's something there. So I checked, and there was. I was correct, as always. All your health. Nope. Perfect. 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 Now we continue to run away because we like things. There is. Well, we need double jump. Double jump is so useful. Never seen this POI before. Like a mini castle. There's a lot of polar bears in here. Uh, more chests? It's just normal chests. Is there anything in the barrels? Okay. Statue from supplementary. Shells that they're Cool POI over here that I haven't seen before. Need More polar bear. Okay, polar bear, you're gonna need to stop. Please. I cannot be dealing with so many polar bears right now. You're you're actually starting to make me upset. I I've killed almost all of your kind. You're almost extinct already before I got to you guys. Oh my gosh, silverfish. It's over, by the way. Like, if you guys know me, will understand just how terrible they are. When I had a worse computer, any silverfish that would spawn would just lag me out almost completely, and I would just want to just end. Because it would be so horrendous that I would need a peaceful toggle to get anything done while silverfish were spawning. Pretty dope. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we can get a couple more of the loot stuff from this. Before we go, click the lodestone, which is perfect. <sighs> A good POI as well. Oh my gosh, yes. This POI is so sick. I love it. I love it so much. This looks actually dope. We get a helmet as well. Get anything else? Just a helmet. Okay. That's not bad though. Sunstone. Okay. We're gonna need to make like a forge. That's gonna be our vault force setup, though. It's gonna be like sunstone, ornate uh, chests that we take out of the vault. Ooh, a champion mob. Okay, we gotta we gotta make sure to get this guy. Twenty nine, twenty one, fourteen, five dead. Perfect. Unidentified vault sword. Perfect. We needed a sword just right now. That's actually gorgeous. It's perfect. I loved it. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Okay. And then we can get a couple more. Already gone for that. Oh wait, I forget. I can't grab snow. Wait, more mobs? Thank you for bringing yourselves to me. What kind of abilities. Fire res is huge. Uh, slowness. Even more slow mobs. Dope. You'll love to see it. I love it when the mobs are super slow. Like, the mobs are actually going to be so slow. Like, slower than me in school. And I, and I, I'm autistic. Um. But, like. Wow. Okay. 
This is this, this insane. You'll have to see it. You'll have to see it. That's that's gorgeous. Perfect. A minute left. You know, we might as well call it here. Gonna cancel that. Uh, vault potions. We should probably have done that first, too, but we didn't. It's all good. I'm not worried. Uh, 31k XP. Cool. <laughs> Level 10 already. You'll love to see it. Uh... Is it? Weather clear. Is it? Weather is... Like, rain is terrible for videos, by the way. If you guys didn't know that. Rain will absolutely ruin your video's compression. So I highly recommend turning off weather cycle. Didn't do that because I forgot, but uh, just do it. It's better for your videos. If you want to just chill and have fun with it, then just, yeah. It's just good to, to remember that you should not have a weather cycle. Weather cycle is horrendous. Anyways, we're going to click all that stuff into the there. And then the rest of the stuff is all going to go into... Actually to go so this stuff is all gonna go in here everything except for our rollables this that perfect perfect we only went through a total of two of our five shulker boxes but that's okay then we've got all this stuff to go through holy that's a lot uh chip jewel odd jewel chips chips Nope. So everything, like the blanks, that flaw jewel, gold, and uh, all souls are gonna go in here too. Let's craft all this stuff up to state so that everything size. Okay, crafted everything up so that everything takes up hopefully less space. Orb of regret. Um. Relic booster packs, nothing. Those, more emeralds, perfect. You'll love to see more emeralds. Then, now, we will roll our gear. So start off with the uh, scrappy pluses. Shield, axe, helmet. Helmet's probably going to be useful, but we have a better helmet. It's fine. But we just probably are going to get a better helmet from that. For now, better helmet. This guy is going to get here. Axe and shield use because we're a wizard another two wands and a chest plate and a helmet our current stuff is not terrible but this helmet is way better wow okay actually you know low roll on item rarity versus high roll on item quantity uh, plus increased area of effect and higher ability power uh yeah this this one's um what about comparing our wands? Ability, power, soul chance, increased effect. Yeah, this one's just better, it, plus it's epic. Okay, shoot, we got an epic. Chest plate. Eh, worse. It's, it's barely better with the modifiers, but it's still worse. Our new wand. Lost some emeralds. I'm gonna need to get an emerald farm. Probably just get a Fletcher. But uh roll our rares, which are two swords, which are gonna probably replace our main sword. Okay, so champion damage, sword damage, bonus cloud attack range. I roll plus poison cloud plus extra damage period plus increased champion damage at a low uh you know 12.5 damage with a good attack range and a better at oh, the attack speed it's not it's like negative it's still better fuck you in there and now for the magnet the last piece of the puzzle either going to be epic or omega Take the wheel, and it's epic. Okay. Not terrible. Pretty good copiously. 
you know, it's terrible copiously. Bad roll item rare. You know what? We'll re-roll it at some point, but it's not terrible, so we'll keep it in there. Yeah. Okay, and then let's finish off this episode by going through... We do one more level of fireball. 80% ability power increases it by almost a third. Hmm. It's higher radius, higher mana, but the cooldown is still terrible. 100% is actually crazy, plus bigger radius. And then we'll get one level in vein mine. Specializations now bouncing fireball at scorch mount. Oh, dear. Power. Uh, okay. Hmm. Being attacked right now. Sir, I'm going to need you to cease your actions. Thank you sleep but hmm i'm trying to i'm trying to think what do we want to do with with our our mate blizzard arrow that's ice arrows okay sleep power any on hit effects from you I like that. Duration two seconds. Not terrible. We're gonna have fun with Fire Volley. So, well, is it bounce? Ooh, okay, okay. I like that a lot, actually. We're gonna need to lower the cooldown, because it does use a bunch of mana, but we get, get that much mana back by the time. So, I think I'm gonna put the, ma put the cooldown to, uh, to 12 seconds. Instead of 20, because 20 is a little bit high. I, I Just in my opinion, if you guys think it's, it's perfect, then let me know. But I don't know, it feels, it feels too high to me. Uh, Expertise-wise, I think we go fortunate. Because passive fortune is so huge. Um, another thing we need to do is actually... Lost for a non-star. We need a total of 16 Beniatite, and then... 16 Beniatite, 8 Vault Diamonds, and then a bunch of Knowledge Shards. Are... We, we, have, we have Knowledge Shards, we have 13. We need to focus on Benny, which is not too big of a deal. So, GG's, peace, I will see you guys next time, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations, in those in the comments, I really do appreciate it, and I will read it, so thank you guys so much for Have a great day, I'll see you guys next time, bye bye!